Okay, we are looking at understanding sea level and data in surveying. Here is the UK sea level reference. Newling. And Newling is where? In Cornwall. So Newling in Cornwall is the reference point for all structures in the UK. Your structure can be above sea level or below sea level. Your town, your village, your house can be above sea level or below sea level, with reference to Newling in Cornwall. Not every building or every structure is on the same level. Some structures are up here while some structures are here. Last week we made we had this little experiment. All of you actually verified your postcode. Some of your buildings, I think you your house is the highest? Lowest. Whose house was the highest in this class? Okay, you. Yes. So yours is the highest in this class and yours is the lowest. This is exactly how every building in this UK have a reference. These red zones are areas in the UK that are gradually moving down below the sea level. And some of the towns and cities are even close to London. Not every land or surface in the world is on the same level. Some countries are really far above sea level. Some countries are below sea level. One country in Europe that is working so hard not to go down more below the sea level is what? Netherlands. Netherlands. Thank you. Netherlands are working so hard to see that they protect their country because it's going down and down below the sea level. Here in the UK, every town and city are not on the same level. But fortunately, here in the UK, many areas in this UK have been marked by surveyors. Whenever you come to a construction site, there is always a closest and nearest benchmark to that construction site. If your construction site is here and you have a benchmark here and you are a surveyor, your company sent you to work on this site. There is no visible benchmark here. You don't know because for you to be able to have this site level, you should be able to have a reference point on this site to start what your construction project. But very close to that construction project, you have a datum marked maybe 56.738 meters above sea level. Can you tell me how we transfer benchmark from a known point to your construction site. How do you do that? Okay. Now, this is a full topic of its own. I will take you in one of the classes. How to transfer benchmark from a known point to an unknown point. We're going to see the process of transferring benchmark from this point to a point on your site. That will become what is called the temporary benchmark. The process of transferring this known height of elevation to your construction site we actually use some methods. One of them is height of collimation method. 
another method we use, engineers also use rise and fall method. Height of collimation. This is a different topic. I just mentioned it. This is one place that is at risk of going down the sea. This is minus 9 meters below the sea level in the UK. So, how do we represent this? This is the zero sea level. And what is the name of here? This is what? Newly in Congo. This is the UK zero sea level. And we have this. Home fan in Cambridgeshire, which is minus 9 meters below the sea level, is probably somewhere here. Now, there are other cities and towns in this UK. Many cities and towns. If we look at this, I want you to look at how this is. This is from what? Area view. If you go up, maybe you're on the plane. Or from the satellite or from area view. This is what the United Kingdom. That's why you can see London, Oxford, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Belfast. You can see Bristol, Southampton, and all this from an area view. While this is what? From the grand view. Isn't it? This from the grand view. Let me assume this is. Bristol. Probably this is Oxford. This is London. Let me say that this is Manchester. Let me assume that this is Liverpool. Let me say that this is Aberdeen. Each of these cities are either above the sea level or below the sea level. Now let me take Bristol for an example. Bristol is a very large city. Inside Bristol, we're going to have different points that are equally what, not equal on their levels. If we assume a particular site here, let me just take a point here as a construction site in Bristol. And let me assume that that is the construction site where you are working. That this is the what? This is the construction site. This construction site have what? A benchmark. From this point to this sea level is called datum. Now I'm going to assign a number to this datum with reference to this sea on this construction site, which is 56.738 meters above the sea level. Every surveyor need this number to work on a construction site. Many of these points in the UK are already established. Here in the UK, surveyors, site engineers can work effectively because most of the sites in the UK, either very close to your construction site within your construction site, somewhere in your construction site, very close to old structures, there is always what? A known elevation. To learn how to transfer that known elevation to your construction site using either height of collimation or rise and fall method, which we are going to see in one of our lectures. These are some of the cities you can equally look for others as well in the UK that are below the sea level. Stourbridge, Brick Willow, Ten Mile Bank, and Nodel, Derbyshire. Towns and villages around this area have minors in their detail. The Peak District Park is the highest elevation in Britain, which is 463 meters above the sea level. Remember, we have ignored what? The three decimal places. If you are going to be working as a surveyor, you must 
not forget the three decimal places that is attached to the whole number. The Peak District Park is the highest elevation in the United Kingdom. And the Peak District is in Derbyshire, is in a county in Derbyshire. The highest town in the entire whole world is in Peru, La Riconoda. It is 5,100 meters above the sea level. 